We're at Skeleton, and why don't you tell me why you're here? Uh, cause um, we found out there's gonna be a, a Mexican uh, uh, participating in the Olympics, and since we live here, then it might as well be pretty cool to just support the the, uh, the athletes that come all the way from from back home to partake in the Winter Olympics, which is a rare thing, really. I was gonna ask you. I've never heard of any other Mexican skeletons, oh, me losers. Me neither. So uh, I only knew from from the last Olympics there was the the Mexican-born uh, skier uh, was it Huberto von Hohenzollern, uh, but he's actually from here, really. But he skis from Mexico. But it's like yeah, anyone who who um, represents the flag of Mexico, then we support them as well. I'm also really digging this mask. Can you explain? Like I've never seen that before. Why are you wearing it? Uh, I just bought it when I was uh, um, a year and a half ago when I was on holiday in Mexico. Then. Uh, since the, the luchador thing is, is a very Mexican thing and I thought it would be pretty cool to buy one and I found this one with a with a Mexican colors on it which is from a rather famous wrestler even in the States, Rey Mysterio uh, and even the kids over here recognize it all We met three Mexican fans earlier. Did you see them? Yeah, yeah, they're friends of ours that we met when we got here. They're from the same city of my coach. So, what does it mean for you to have them here cheering you on like that? Um, I really didn't expect anyone to be cheering me on except my coach. But to see people from Mexico here, it gave me even more motivation to do good in the in the competition because I thought it was just me, my coach, and the the ambassador. But I saw that there's more people, so that's supporting. So it kind of, you know, made me happy. And we found them by accident when we were shooting. But um, what we would like to know is, as a Mexican skeleton not being popular, how on earth did you get involved in this? Um, I actually, uh, my coach, he was like, he used to do the sport, and he uh, he had like trials for like youth our age and my mom's like you should go I was like I don't even know what a skeleton is she's like just go if you don't if you don't like it then don't do it so I went and it was actually in Salt Lake City where the 2002 Olympics were and they're like yeah do you do you want to go to the youth Olympics I was like sure it was like a long time ago I never thought I would actually be here but I finally came how proud are you to be racing under the Mexican flag here? Uh, it, it's like an honor to me. Um, not, no one else, if it wasn't for the people who helped me here, no one else, no one else would have represented Mexico. So I'm really proud of myself for getting here and really honored to be carrying the flag and thankful for everyone that helped me to get here because everyone else believed when even when I didn't, I thought no, Mexico, he's not, they're not going to go to the Olympics and then they helped me and now I'm here. Gracias. De nada. ¡Viva México!